All right, guys, uh, we're gonna show you today how to install our heavy duty uh, upper shackle mounts uh, for the front. Uh, this is gonna be for 73 all the way up to 87s, as well as uh, up to 91 uh, crew cab trucks. Uh, so uh, here, we're uh, actually, we're just gonna remove the four rivets holding the existing bushing mount on. And then we'll show you how to actually uh, enlarge this hole. Uh, we've come up with a method to, to easily allow you to enlarge that. Normally that's the biggest issue with the, installing anything with the larger bushings in it. Uh, as you can see, ours has a larger tube to mount larger bushings there. Therefore, the hole needs to be larger. Uh, but we'll get to that um, after I get the mount removed here. Uh, we're going to use the uh, same standard method we, we've used on several of the other brackets we've shown. And we're just going to put us a cross cut on the head of each uh, rivet here and chisel them off. That seems to be the quickest, most effective method. Um, and then we'll cover how to elongate, uh, enlarge the hole, and uh, mount the bushing on there. So I'm going to get started. like that, we've got the old bushy mount off, um, didn't take too long to do that, uh, so set that to the side. Alright, next thing we're going to go through uh, is go ahead and drill out the uh, holes for the mounts. Uh, again, these need to be drilled out to a 15 30 seconds, 7 16 clearance hole, um, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. And just a mental note uh, and a reminder again, make sure uh, double check any of your lines in the back, make sure you don't drill through any of them when you're going through AC. We're actually working on a frame section here uh, that we've got cut out just to do this, but there are two, would have been two lines back here. Uh, there's at least a brake line. Um, and I definitely see uh, possibly the EVAP return line, a uh, breather line that went back there. So again, just watch for any lines in the back, make sure you don't drill through any of those. We got that done. And, uh, just check, just check and make sure there's the burrs are minimal on the back side. All right. So next thing we need to do is we actually need to enlarge the hole here to uh, a little over two inches uh, in order to fit our bushing mount right here. We're a two-inch diameter right here. Um, the factory hole is is close to probably. One and seven eighths, one three quarters to one and seven eighths. Uh, so it doesn't have to enlarge a lot. Um, but if you were to sit here, uh, there are several methods of doing. It. If you want to sit here and take a die grinder and try to try to enlarge it that way, uh, you you could definitely do it that way. It would take a lot more time. Uh, so uh, what we'll be selling uh, separately to go with our kits at you know very very reasonable price is basically just a template. You'll be able to bolt to the outside out here. And what this will give you is basically an OD that you can take a two inch hole saw and it'll just help center up your hole saw right there. So of course the problem being why you can't just use the hole saw to enlarge it to begin with is there's you know nowhere for the pilot tip to actually ride at uh, in the hole here. Um, so this, this gives you something to help guide that hole saw uh, the whole time you're cutting. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and bolt this on. Uh, with uh, 7 16 bolts and we'll we'll go on and drill that hole out
just like that, we were able to drill straight on through with the two inch. Now, some of you may be asking, why did I use a, a cordless drill in order to drill out such a big hole? Uh, mainly I did that because sometimes when you use your larger corded drill, uh, the momentum of it will keep going. So when that hole saw hangs up, uh, can definitely snatch the drill out of your hands or break the teeth off your whole saw. At least with the cordless, it may be a little bit slower going, but it is a lot more controlled. You have a lot more control over it, and if it binds up, it normally doesn't have enough torque to rip your arm off. So now we're uh, before we pull the template off, I'm just gonna start to clean the edge up. We're just gonna do a little bit to begin with, and then do some final final cleanup after we, we take the template off of it. We're going to move the template now. Find my bolt there. There we go. So as you can see uh, from the back side there, uh, that, that hole will have fairly significant burrs in some spots on it. Uh, those are what you're gonna have to take your hand file, or if you, you again did have a, a die grinder uh, with a, a stone on it or a Dremel tool or something like that, you could also definitely take that and clean and deburr that edge up. Um, I'm just gonna use a flat file, uh, but round file, flat file, burr stone, uh, any, any method is fine to, to not burr off that edge. Again, you want to make sure you get every bit of that burr off. Uh, if it's still there, anything's still there, when you go to bolt the uh, new mount up, it won't bolt flush. Uh, so you just want to make sure you get all of that off of there. Also, depends on how, uh, how accurate your hole saw was, whether or not it's a little wore out. Uh, the hole saw is going to be dead on two inch. Our tube is two inch normally. Uh, when you've, you've had experience with any hole saws, normally they'll, they seem to drill over that size, uh, and that's what we're normally we're hoping on. It'll give you a couple thousand clearance there. Um, what we'll go ahead and do is try to stick this in there, and if, if for some reason it doesn't go through all the way, then you may would have to take uh, your file or deburr tool and just slightly knock the edge off until it passes through uh, nicely. Ours is still just a little tight, so we're gonna have to knock a knock the edge off just a little bit more. And that's okay. It's okay if it fits. You know, you really want it to actually fit snug in there. Uh, that way, you're carrying out most of your load on the actual tube itself instead of just the, the shear of the bolts. Now that went in there nice and snug. Um, you may could have took it back out and just filed just a little bit more on there so it slide in, but even if you have to, you know, slightly wiggle it and rock it until it goes in there, that is fine. You should make sure though, uh, that you do get enough off, uh, you shouldn't really have to beat it in there. Alright, at this point, 
you get all your hardware on there, everything pulled up nice. Uh, you can torque 7 16 bolts to uh, 50 foot pounds. Uh, for the sake of our illustration, I didn't put crimp nuts on the back of it. Uh, however, uh, the hardware we supply would have crimp nuts on the back to, to keep those retained for you. Um, as another note, uh, I, I stated the year models. This also does work on K5s as well, so any of the square body, uh, four wheel drive trucks, the bushy mounts, uh, bolt pattern is the same on all of those. So it covers all, all year models of square body, all four wheel drives, uh, can be used on any of them, templates usable on all of those. Um, and now at, at, once you're done with this, we'd also have to go, you know, we, we send the bushings and the, your sleeve with it. Uh, grease your bushings up again with a non-petroleum base grease, insert them, install the sleeve. Now, uh, another note, the sleeves that come with ours do require a 9 16 bolt. We do, uh, we can supply the 9 16 bolt. They normally don't come with the bolt. Uh, however, uh, we, we may make that option just to supply those with them. Um, we, we will be selling shackles that go along with them that will have a 9 16 bolt up here and a 7 16 at the bottom to match that up. You could take the factory uh, plates and drill those out to a 916 and, and use those as well. Um, that is an option, uh, but we do sell uh, heavier duty shackle plates uh, to, to uh, replace the factory ones and they'll have the 916 in them already. Um, other than that, that completes the installation. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, and you've got a nice, nice beefy heavy duty bushing mount now. Appreciate it guys.